Okay, welcome back to uh, Self Conscious. I'm your host. Today is a very simple episode. It's about dumb jokes. I have a few dumb jokes. Please, in all of these jokes I ever tell, never ever be offended, darn it. The truth is, they're jokes. I don't know what kind of jokes are going to come out of my mouth. They could be all sorts of things. Jokes are a way of commenting on society. So even whatever you think of as a really offensive joke is by itself a comment on the fact that that kind of thing exists in our society. Deal with it, Mr. Or Mrs. Or Why did the panda fall out of the tree? Because it died. Why did the second panda fall out of the tree? Because it was stapled to the first panda. Why did the third panda fall out of the tree? Peer pressure. Joke number two. A man and a wife get married. This beautiful wedding and a great honeymoon and they finally come home and he carries her across the threshold and they're moving in, they're moving in, great. Have this life together, but now he's moving in the boxes and he goes up to the attic to put a box down he doesn't think he's gonna need for a while. And the house that they moved into was his wife's family house that she inherited. It's still got all the stuff in it. She had left this trunk up there, this big steamer trunk in the attic, and he says, well, that's strange. I, I wonder what's in there and I can't get it open, it's locked. So I hollers down the stairs to the attic and, honey, honey, what, what's in this old steamer trunk? She's at the bottom of the attic stairs and she says, Honey, I love you. I'll do anything for you. But the one favor I want to ask you is never, ever, ever ask me what's in that steamer trunk. Of course, it's his wife and, you know, expects some trust and, but she's right. She will do anything for him and he'll do anything for her. So he lets it go and just keeps moving in. Five years later, he's up in the attic looking for something. And he sees that trunk again. It's accumulated a little bit more dust. I really want to know what's in that trunk. He goes down the stairs and his wife's in the bedroom and he says, honey, gosh, you know, I'm really curious. What is in that steamer trunk in the attic? She says, honey, I've given you everything you've ever wanted so far in our five years of marriage. I made love to you whenever you wanted it. I cook for you. I clean the house. I take care of our new kid. I do anything you need me to. But, please do me one favor and do not ask me what's in that steamer trunk. Fine, I mean, look, I believe in trust, I believe in trust, but I just trust that it's it's important to you that I don't know. So, I'll try and let it go, I'm sorry. Ten years later, fifteen years married now, he goes back up to the attic and he sees the steamer trunk. He realizes that he saw it the first time fifteen years ago. It's his, you know, anniversary. And he goes all the way down to the living room. And he says, honey, damn it. I won't take it anymore. I have to know. I absolutely have to know what is in that steamer trunk and I don't care the cost. She looks at him and she sees that he's totally serious. And so they go upstairs to the attic. And once they're up there, she takes from around her neck a chain that he'd never seen before. She takes it off her neck and on the chain is key. She puts the key into the trunk, turns it, opens the lock, and opens it up. And inside the trunk are three ears of corn and $30,000 in cash. Now he's taken back by this a little bit. He says, what, this is kind of weird. What, what's, what's the deal with this stuff? She says very calmly, well, we've been married for 15 years now, and I've done everything I can to make you happy, and I've done my absolute best to stay faithful. But every time I was unfaithful, I put an ear of corn in the trunk. He says, wow, that's three X. I mean, but they could be anything. I mean, she didn't say it could be anything. She could have hugged somebody I felt guilty about. It. Fifteen years, though, and she does love me. I know that. Three acts of infidelity. I mean, it can't be that bad. He says, well, honey, I have... But just, there's one question. Where did the $30,000 in cash come from? She says, well, every time the trunk got full, I sold the corn. Joke number three. Knock, knock. Who's there? Disappearing cow. Disappearing cow who? 